Hello, welcome to the first coding lab for the introduction to programming using Java. This coding lab is going to try and bring all the information that we uh, have covered in the last nine videos and we'll be looking specifically at the flow of the code and how it moves around the program. Okay, so we're going to try and complete this program in under uh, five minutes. So we're going to have three methods um, and the main aim is just to kind of print out all the song lyrics for Deck the Halls. Um, but because we have that fra la 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 um, repeated, instead of um, just printing that out, we're going to put that into a, its own method and then use a loop to print out the las. So we should have three methods. Each method should be able to do these functions. So stop the video and see if you can complete the activity. Okay, so hopefully you've stopped the video. Um, let's try and go through all the tasks here. Um, do remember that the lyrics are below the line. So the first thing that we need to do is try and start a, a new project. So I'm going to go to view and then I'm going to go to the command palette. And then from the command palette, I'm going to be creating a new Java program and I'm just going to say no build tools. Okay, then I can choose where I want to put my project. So I'm just going to put it in my Java projects. So select the location and then I can create the name of my project and I'm just going to call it deck. And if I press enter, we shall now have a new project called deck. And if we go to the source file, we have our app here. So we've now created um, the important stuff that we can to create our project. Okay, so the first task that we want to do is I'm going to create the start method and then this start method is going to just ask the user where they want to start the program. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting it under the uh, I'm going to be putting it under the main method and I'll close it up. Okay, so we have our start, uh, our new start method, and um, what we need to do first is link it. So I just want to show you how you can link things within the class. So because it's static, we don't need to create the object. So all we need to do is put the name of the method, start. So what will happen is this will be executed. So when the pro program runs, it goes to main because that's the starting point. And then in main it says go to the start method and then it'll come to the start method and start executing this. So a couple of things, we can see a squiggly line here and this is because we haven't imported this scanner class. So if we go to the top, we can import that now. So if we say import, it's in the Java folder and it's util and then we want the scanner. So if we look at that now, it's uh, it's now got rid of that red line. Okay, so the next bit we have to uh, actually get the student, uh, the the user's information, and we're going to be putting it in a um, a string because the answers are probably going to be yes, no. So what I've done here is um, I have linked up the input here. And I've said I want you to use the next line to get a string. And then I'm just going to say turn everything that you input into this string, turn it into uppercase. So anything that's inputted, turn it to uppercase. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using an if to see if it's yes or no. So this is maybe new for a few of you. Um, so if you can follow that's great if uh, if you aren't sure what if does don't worry we'll cover it in later videos I just want to show how you can uh, move between methods in a class so basically what I've just said is if this string contains yes in in it at all then what you're going to do is you're going to execute this method the problem at the moment, the reason why it's red is because we haven't made that method. So now we need to make the song method. Okay, so to make the song method, we're going to put it still within our class, but outside of the start method. 
So we're going to be putting it here. And we're going to have the same kind of information as uh, the start method. So it's going to be public. It's going to be static because we're not going to create the class and there's nothing going to be returned. So this is now the method that we are going to be using um, to create the actual song. So with the song, what we want to do is uh, we want to print out the first bit of the um, song, which is uh, deck the halls with boughs of holly. So we can see we're using the system uh, output print line here. Now what we're going to do is if you look at the song lyrics, we need to do the fa la 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 line. So instead of just copying that out, I'm going to be using the method here. Now, again, we haven't created this method, so I'm just putting it in for now. But what will happen is this code will be printed, and then I'll go here and we'll execute that method, and then we can print the next line. So that's the next line in the, uh, the lyrics. And then we can go back to the la um, method again. And then we can go back to start. So then what we can do is then we can go back and say, do you want to see the lyrics of Deck the Halls again? So we can be this loop until they say no. So now what we need to do is we need to create this um, this la method so it prints out um, the number of las that we want. So if we remember, I'm going to be using a for loop and I'm going to be using the value that's put in here to determine how many las we print. Okay, so we're going to say, uh, so that will make it very easier to change the amount of las that we print out. So this means that we're not just going to have um, a void. There's, sorry, th we're not going to have no parameters in our code. We're actually passing through one parameter. So when we make our method now, we need to put in this int number. So what we're saying is this code is expecting a number in it. So if we don't have this number, there'll be an error there. So this one is uh, expecting an integer from there. And then what we need to do is we're going to um, create a for loop that will print out um, all our lars. So what will happen in this method is the first far will be printed and then I've added a space. So remember, because I've used print instead of print line, this will all be printed on the same line. If you print print line, print ln, this means each time you do this, it will be printed in the line below. So I've printed this far first with a space here. And then I've just said, look, for each uh, time we have a value zero, um, each time that value is less than the number we've put in here, increase, do this code and then increase it by one. So at the start it'll be zero um, and then it'll go through that and then it'll be one, go through, two, go through. And when it's either um, the same as eight or greater than eight, it'll stop. So what I've done now is I've finished the code. So we'll, we've made three methods. The first method um, asks whether they want to start. The second method um, starts the song. And then when we want to do that repeating part, we go into the third method. So I'm going to run it now and we can see if it works. OK, so I've run the code here. Um, if we go back to the main menu, we can see that what's happened. This has been executed. This has moved down to line eight now. Now we're on line 10. So this is being executed. If we go um, back and we enter the information. So let's say, yes, please. And we enter it. Um, 
it goes through the whole thing. So it says it prints the first one and then it goes through the uh, fa la la la's, then the second line, then the la's again, and then goes back to start. So um, I'm going to put this code in the get my GitHub so you can, you're welcome to get it and go through it. Um, it's important just to see how you go through in each of the methods. So that is the point of the video. So if you've got a better understanding of how now we can move through our methods, um, I think this video has been a success. So let's quickly review the information and check your understanding. So if you're able to answer uh, this question, how did we call a method in the same class? I think you have a good understanding of the video and the information in it. If you can explain why it's important that all of our methods were static in that video, then I think you had to have an even better understanding. If you can make an improvement to the code, that's where I want you to be. That's the best understanding possible. Make an improvement and then leave a comment of how you improve the code. If you're finding these videos um, useful and you would like me to con continue doing them, please subscribe, please like, and I'll see you in the next video.